Hi guys and welcome back. Hope you're all doing well and having a lovely day. So I've just had the food shop delivered so I thought I'd just do my first grocery shop slash food shopping video of the year because when I asked you guys over on Instagram a lot of you said you really liked seeing these so I thought I could just give you some ideas um, of what we're having for dinner this week and stuff like that because as I always say in these videos I always feel like I'm in a rut um, it takes me quite a long time to go through different recipes to really find enough meals that we're going to like for the week and so that it doesn't get too repetitive. So I've got some here. Most of them are pretty healthy for you. I thought it's January, everyone's on a health kick. Um, and just in general, we need to like get back to eating a lot more vegetables after a lot of chocolate and cheese at Christmas. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get straight into it. This week we ordered our food shopping from Tesco. I change quite often where we order our food from. But at the end, I'll tell you how much it all came to. I've categorised it by dinners to start with and then you'll see as we go on. So hopefully this will be helpful. Let's get into it. Okay, so please bear with me for a sec because I'm just having a look on my phone at all the recipes I've written down for this week. So, one of the meals we're going to have is baked halloumi with chickpeas and greens, which I thought was a nice meat-free meal. Some halloumi, so I've got that. I got two tins of chickpeas. I got some curly kale. I also got cherry tomatoes, some fresh basil. Usually, I would just use um, the dried basil, but I thought I would get this this week. And also, a garlic... For this dinner, you also need some balsamic vinegar, olive oil, um, some fresh pesto, and you can serve it with crusty bread as well, but we already had most of that stuff in the cupboard, so I'm just going to add it to what I've bought this week. Then we're going to have a chicken and herb bake with tomatoes. This looks really, really nice. So the recipe for this was chicken breast fillets with the skin on, um, but I didn't realise actually how expensive these were. I thought they were £7 for the two, but they were £6.78 each. So I did make a little bit of a mistake there. I think if I make this again, I'll just use normal chicken breasts. I got the garlic and herb soft cheese, also some more garlic. I may not need to use it for this recipe, but I got two, so we can use that for something else. Um, some rocket, and I also got some piccolo tomatoes, because the ones on the vine are just really, really nice. Oh, and also the recipe um, called for breadcrumbs. Now, I could have obviously just made these myself, but Tesco do like this pot of breadcrumbs, which I've never seen before, so I thought I would try it. Then for another meat-free meal this week, we're going to have fritters, um, which are a really easy meal, but you can just pack them with veg, and they're really, really filling. So basically, if you've not had them before, they're kind of a bit like pancakes. You mix eggs and flour together. We've already got flour. And then you just add in whatever vegetables you want. So usually carrots or courgettes. Obviously, I'm going to use both. Um, and you can add different flavours like paprika and just whatever herbs and spices you like. And they make these really nice, like, crispy... I don't know. They're really hard to explain if you've never had them. But they're like a crispy pancake crisp type thing. They're really lovely. Um, so that's a really easy dinner. And we'll probably just put those with some rice. Most weeks we usually do a Mexican style dinner because we all like enchiladas, quesadillas, wrap, uh, fajita wraps and also uh, nachos. Um, this week we're going to have fajitas, although I've just realised that the wraps aren't here so maybe I didn't add them to the cart properly, but that's fine. We need some wraps for this, definitely. Um, and I also got some tortilla chips to just put in and do like um, nachos as well which will be really, really easy because we already have all of the stuff here to make them. Um, I also got frozen chicken breasts, which I don't normally get. I didn't realise that's what I got. But that's fine. We can work with that. So we've got those. i got some spring onions to add in, some avocados, pepper. Um, i got some... Where is it? I can't see through the camera. i got some... I got some guacamole, um, sweet corn, which we'll probably just use one of these and the others for something else in the week. Um, also some sour cream, mozzarella. So basically we just cook it all up and then let the boys just add everything into their wrap and they really like doing that. And then their secret ingredient is one of these Maggie's barbecue, like they're packets and you're meant to put a whole chicken in. But we just use the seasoning in here to tip over the chicken in the frying pan and you get so much in these, it tastes incredible. You can get a Mexican one, it's a bit more spicy. So we go for the barbecue one when we're eating with the kids. And then I'm also going to make a risotto, which is another meat-free meal, which I'm quite proud of this week. Um, basically, we have the risotto rice, and then I've got some um, 
why do I want to say cucumber <laughs> cauliflower broccoli spring onions and then I have other bits and pieces to add into it like the chicken stock some more veg um, the boys have been really good at eating things like this recently we've been making it with rice but I thought it might taste nicer with um, risotto rice so we're going to try that this week um, and of course we also have a freezer dinner because if I'm honest, this is like the boys' favourite. Um, so I always like to have something like this in the freezer. It's always really handy. So I've got some fish fingers, some waffles and some beans. And I know the night that I say that we've got that for dinner, they'll be very, very happy. So yeah, that is six dinner ideas. We always get six instead of seven because every week we end up doing something and maybe not having dinner at home or not having dinner at the same time. So we grab something out of the freezer for the kids. So we find that buying six dinners is better than seven it's like less wasteful for us um so that's all good so over here i have some slightly random things i have some stuff for the freezer so i've got whole grain uh rice two packs of that because we're always getting free rice so i needed to restock that and then i also got some um diced white onion just because i think it's good to have in the freezer again you can quickly add it to the frying pan you don't have to worry about crying and cutting it up i don't always do this but I, we use we use it all up when we have this in the freezer so I thought I'd get another one got some lemons can't actually remember why I got lemons this week but if I need honey and lemon this week so I've got a bit of a sore throat they'll come in handy and I'm sure they will go into making other dinners taste nice some bread to freeze and then if I go over to here this is kind of like the breakfasty section I have some more bread we always get the wholemeal bread so this one will stay out and that one will go in the freezer um I got some wheat bix Archie's doing so well with eating breakfast at the moment he literally eats more breakfast than a fully grown man um which is good because he just likes the plain wheat bix so it's brilliant um I also got cocoa snaps because Elliot's not always a fan of those it's good to just have those as a backup um, so I have the Weetabix as well and then we just put some fruit in it usually and then I was meant to order Ricky porridge and I forgot to order the porridge so I need to go and get that there's always a couple of things that I miss off but oh well um, also some grapes and apples and pineapple chunks which Ricky requested although actually I've got frozen ones of those as well I clearly was not paying attention this week um, frozen pineapple chunks oops then I've got here a two pint of milk is it yeah i just had six pints i had a big four pinter and that and i have just knocked four pints of milk over my kitchen floor i am so annoyed right now but it's one of those things gotta get over it so i usually get six pints of milk each week currently we have two because i'm stupid so we've got milk um like i said we've got extra fruit for lunches or breakfast if they want it we've got grapes apples and easy peel oranges oh also some pineapple chunks i thought they might like to try them as like a pudding or something i don't really know but i'm sure they'll really like those we also still have a christmas reindeer biscuit tin which we forgot to put away so anyway i've also got two um boxes of these nescafe gold coffees i've become a little bit obsessed with these over well winter really and they're just a little treat to myself. And um, Rick quite likes them as well. So I've just got the lattes and the vanilla lattes. They're so, so nice. So I've got those. Um, and then over here is a bit of a treat section slash some lunch stuff. Like El Archie's always at school for lunch pretty much. But Elliot will have some like crispy bits with his lunch. Um, probably some Bridge Raider, chicken bites, sandwich, stuff like that. Um, I also got these brunch bars and a dairy milk whole nut because as much as I'm, we're trying to be healthy this month, I never like to kind of like completely restrict ourselves. I always feel like that's so counterproductive. So that's my excuse for having a whole dairy milk. But if this lasts me a week, I'm I'm happy with that. Um, also got some black currant and apple apple and black currant squash. Then I had to get more baby wipes and um, pull ups this week. I don't have to buy these very often anymore because Elliot is potty trained, just not in the night. So these actually last us quite a long time, um, which is good because nappies obviously are expensive. Um, so yeah, I got some baby wipes. I got some toilet roll. Um, and then I also got some floor wipes and surface wipes. I know people don't really like these, um, but I do sometimes get them as well as having like method and 
anti back sprays and stuff like that but anyway i got those and then i got the dog's food again i know people don't like this brand people have told me before but that is what they currently eat and there's they're very fussy um but we do mix in with it some of this food just to make it like nicer for them really because it must get really boring for them um so this caesar's like dog food what seven of those um as a, just like a supplement into it people will probably tell me that's bad as well so there you go that's everything we got in our food shop this week and it came to 101 pounds 95 and i probably will have to go and get a few bits like i said that i forgot this week i don't think my head was quite in it after christmas to be honest um, but hopefully that gave you some dinner ideas and obviously, if there is anything that we buy that you kind of disagree with, I completely get it. But obviously, all families are different, so no hate, please. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I will link our dinner ideas in the description box below for you, as well as any links to the actual recipes if I can find them, because a few of them I've found online. And I will see you again in another video very soon. Bye, guys.